I mean, we gotta show you guys these houses because this is not normal. This is the best, in my opinion, the best Christmas lights in Hawaii. Yeah, this is your hometown. Right, okay guys, we're in <laughs> my home of sorts. I live right down the street there. We've showed it in other Eva Beach videos, but we're in an Eva Gentry neighborhood. Prescott is on this side. Sonoma. There's other like Arizona names over there. Tiburon, <laughs> Terraza. I Earth. mean, I never even heard of this before. Cause you got here a little before me and you were mm -hmm. like, where are we meeting? Oh, street name, Eva. I'm like, yeah, like, okay, where? That's a long street. And then we roll up and I'm like, oh, okay. that's why you guys are confused. Cause I was like, just go to Noelle Street. That doesn't mean anything to me. Now it does. Now you get it. This is a real estate channel. We're going to work to keep it real estate and put real <laughs> estate stuff in, but it's a fun Christmas video. So Let's go get some of the lights. You already brought up a couple of real estate things. Yes, I did. Real estate nerd. How do you feel about the corner lot? I like it here. I don't know what the backyard looks like in this house, but there's like an actual like intentional yard space for landscaping and for like actually doing some stuff with your yard, which okay. not every house has here. Okay. So I like that. I'm going to bring up some real estate data and show you my least favorite house in this neighborhood. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm a fan of this on the ground like that. That's cool, huh? I never would have thought of that before. Mm -hmm. We gotta pick a favorite. You have to pick a favorite. Yeah. I already know my favorite. Well, I, this is, I just walked in here, so I can't say yet, but I feel like this is gonna be a strong contender on okay. this corner right here because I respect the commitment to to the electric bill. <laughs> I feel like Hawaiian Electric must sponsor that. There's a street like this in Alameda, California. Pacific Gas and Electric like sponsored them. I like, gave them a mm. subsidy for the month of December. I mean, I don't see no solar panels on that house either. I don't see no Tesla chargers. I don't see no chargers over there. I also want you guys to pick your favorite. Let's see what your favorite is versus my favorite versus her How favorite. How are we going to discern what it is? Like, house with the R. Like, is there like, criteria? Yeah. Some, Mahi would be like, okay, but what's what, the criteria? Yeah, but how are we judging them? <laughs> but, like, <laughs> okay. We need you guys to help us settle something. First of all, I want to point something out. Mahi is not a fan of a Christmas story. I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm not. The Claymation Rudolph movie. I don't hate it. It's just my dad's real name is Rudolph, so I watched it a lot. Those are classics. No, it's okay. Tim Allen's The Santa Claus, the first one. Yes, of course. Home Alone, obviously. What's the one? Uh, with the with Scrooge Ebenezer is it called Scrooge the black and white one I could do that one Ebenezer a Christmas, Christmas Carol, Carol. Real estate we're there yeah we yeah, yeah, yeah. my husband watches your YouTube I think yeah. <laughs> oh thank you <laughs> come 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 thank you. yeah sorry yeah. <laughs> Charles, name? Gavin. What, what, Gavin what's what? your name Lisa where are I Lisa is Die Hard a Christmas movie yeah they you say yes two yeses. that was the most important question in this whole thing <sighs> Is Die Hard a Christmas movie? Look for my comment on this video because I'm gonna rewatch it and re, you know, restate my opinion. And then, what is your favorite Christmas movie? The Elf, I think. Elf. Yeah. Christmas Story has the most sentiment, but if I had to choose favorite, I went Home Alone. Two, probably. Okay. Do you go inside the helmet? You can. What? I was gonna throw some shade because I'm actually not a huge NFL fan. <laughs> <laughs> but when I was and when I am, it's 49ers. My dad was a Niners fan. I lived in the Bay. My dad lived in the Bay. Dallas took Deion Sanders back in the day. So, you know, we had a lot of rivalry. So I was going to say, before you get your house appraised for resale, take all this down. <laughs> Shelly, what is the reason you guys use, you know, it's not Cowboys, it's the star, right? Let the world so, know about that. So the star represents the birth of Jesus. And that's why we're out here celebrating Christmas. We do all the lights for the community. Um, it's a platform for us to get people here so that we can remind them that it was actually Jesus that was born on Christmas Day, that's why we're celebrating Christmas. Unfortunately, Dallas Cowboys has a star on their jersey, <laughs> so that's the representation of why we do the Dallas Cowboy House. Okay. So, it so it got nothing team, to do with Jerry Jones. No, nothing to do with them. <laughs> okay, okay. We are also the owners of All For God Hawaii, and the number four, instead of F-O-R-E, it stands for my husband, myself, my son, and my daughter. We sell faith-based merchandise, the Hawaiian Faith Collection, towels, umbrellas, you name it, tote bags, we have it all. Thank you. You know Thank what? you, Shelly. Not You're my welcome. least favorite house. Yeah, not right? anymore. Well, you did mortgage, so. Yeah. So Do you think this affects the values <laughs> of the uh, neighborhood? Like, would you, like, you like living on this street for yeah, this reason? we like it. So let me just give you an example. We have a lot of our neighbors who are really our good friends. They actually moved out. Um, they moved back to the mainland. Not because they were priced out of Hawaii. It was just they don't have reason to be here. Mm -hmm. um, people who put in uh, bids for the housing, they actually lived in the back and they wanted to live ah. on this street, which is known as Christmas Lane in Eva Beach. Yeah. So they moved from the back to the front just so that they could decorate for Christmas. We have two houses here yeah. that actually did that. I used to live down the street, you know. I lived in like the second, you know, you go down Pukanaga. Yeah. 
and then that's Cut Yurike. Yes. Not the house you're looking at, but the one to the right. That was my dad then's house. Straight ahead to the right. To the right. Oh. Yeah. It, it, it's like people from New York live there now. sold in 2006, Six beginning and a half. of seven, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah? yeah. Okay, so my friend who was the mortgage broker at that time bought that house. Because we used really? to go over there. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Go so we did the contract for my house here. So he was a dual, a dual agent. So I did oh. my own loan. I moved into my house in 10 days. So he bought that house? He bought that house, yeah. Oh, Boy, you're so his small. Wife passed Away, so and then they foreclosed, yeah? Yes. Okay. We were one to the right, one to the left. Mm -hmm. That was my friend Lynn. We sold her house and she lives over here in Sonoma too now. Oh, yeah. yeah. like one of the old model homes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody Small like lived in yeah. Sonoma. Oh, and she, you guys probably know her. She's a big Dallas Cowboys fan. Small Lynn, Japanese Lynn. lady. Yeah, oh, I know her. That's, <laughs> she my, comes that's my guy and her friend. Yeah, she yeah, buys yeah. us stuff for our house. She bring me any kind of stuff Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lynn, yeah. Yeah, Lynn, yeah. Lynn. Lynn. I parked at her house to come over here. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Right on. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank nice you. to meet you guys. Nice meeting you, Shadi. Yeah, this nice is Mahi. Meet you. I'm Derek. Honorable mention. Special category. Special winner. category. Categorical winner. Yes. For the most ever beach. For the most ever the beach. The most ever. Maybe the most Hawaii. I will do one thing to make this even more ever beach. I don't know what. Do you know Kench? We put like white frame sunglasses on top of the star or something. I was put a fat gold chain on Oh the my god. It's a big gold chain. Just the tinsel around the tree is just one big yeah, gold big chain. Yeah, big gold chain Looping is the tinsel. The <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> my Ever Beach bangers out there, <laughs> tell me not. A gold chain wrapping around. Are you judging right now? I'm trying to process it. They probably also ball out for um, Halloween, that's why. Maybe they're x-ray techs, orthopedic surgeons. Maybe, <laughs> probably, probably not. not. <laughs> Paired with pink, like what do you think the artist was trying to accomplish here? I don't know, maybe they wanted to keep it soft and light since they have a more dark aesthetic with the skeletons. Well, I like it, I don't yeah. hate it. I think you it's quirky. You don't hate it? Yeah, I don't hate it. I think I'll, it's quirky and weird. I'll translate, mahe, I don't hate it is. <laughs> it could also be, I love it. So this is a real estate channel after all. So we're gonna talk a little bit about real estate today. So is anywhere from three Three bedroom to five bedroom homes in yeah. here. Mm -hmm. Mostly north of a million. There was that one sale, nine something. Yeah, nine ninety three. That's because the market bed. had come down. There was yeah. nothing sub a million in here a year and a half year and ago. A half. But the market's come down, so there's some high nines mm -hmm. into the one point threes. Yeah, we actually have something on the market here for one point six five still. Listed for one six five and selling. Yeah. Two totally different but things. But it's been on the market for like 83 days, so. It's overpriced, right? Yeah. The other houses we're talking about that sold for a 1.07 and then a 993, those were 5,000 square foot lots, like a normal lot. This other one's a flag lot, so it's twice the size, 10,000 square feet. And they have like a pool and all of the things. So I didn't do a full market analysis, but I'll probably go. 1.4. 1.4 something. Yeah, maybe. There's a home for sale <laughs> in Christmas Tree Lane in Ava Beach, Noello Street. Do you think? Mm hmm that selling your home during this time would help or hinder? That's so subjective. Okay. It just depends on the buyer and what they want. Because some people are going to be like, hate it. No yeah. way. I feel like it's a gamble, but yeah. you could strike gold. I feel like this kind of level of like intensity of Christmas lights needs to go into like a seller's disclosure. Like even if you're not selling it during like Christmas time, like it's got to go in your disclosure somewhere yeah. that like, for a month to two months a year, there are strangers walking up and down your road all the time. There's no street parking. All the lights are gonna be on all the time. When we're helping you buy or when we're helping you sell, the general rule is disclosure should contain anything that's asked on that document, but also anything that could materially affect the price and or condition of the home. All of this could materially <laughs> affect the price and or condition of the home and or your experience. It could yeah. be a nuisance. If it increases the value for some super Chevy Chase type buyer, mm -hmm. great. Yeah. If you're the seller. <laughs> but you don't want to be the person that sold the home and then they're calling and saying, eh, you didn't tell us. I could see this. Someone buys it in February. I was just thinking that. And then in June, they're watching this channel. Oh, and they're like, oh my God. God, that's my street. Yeah. That freaking happens on this street? Not to toot our own horn, but please call a, a team like us because you're going to want agents who do work in the area who can tell you, oh yeah, it looks pretty normal right now, but come yeah. Christmas time, X, Y, Z. Yeah. Thank you, happy holidays. Okay. Make sure that yeah. your agent knows the neighborhood that you're looking in because every once in a while there's gonna be a this. <laughs> On top of that, let's get back to the real estate Christmas lane. This house might end up being my favorite because it seems this is the house of Toba's roofing. Augie T, this is his brother when I was buying my truck. Mm -hmm. He was like looking at me, looking at me, I was like, hey, how's it? And he's like, yeah, I like you guys' real estate channel. Because he's an acquaintance, fan, and friend of the channel, Toba's roofing, I think this is gonna have to be my favorite. <laughs> but the one with the that goes to the music, that's really my like that's Is that running this year? 
We gotta check it out. Yeah, I hope so. I already knew this was gonna be my favorite favorite. Yeah. This one just, it takes the cake period. So for the contest, uh, this isn't a league of its own. Yeah. I'm gonna go with Toba Roofing. That's Uncle, mm -hmm. who supports the channel yep. and the business. You're going with the corner house? No, I actually changed my mind. I'm gonna go oh, with okay. the Heineken bottle house. Really? Because, yeah, because Kenji brought oh, up a good point. This just in. What? It's innovative and it's different. Like somebody built that and created that as opposed to, like not that none of this is cool. Like this is all real oh, cool too. you're pretty too. impressionable. Well, Kenji just changed Kenji your brought mind up like a good that. point. Sorry that you couldn't convince me otherwise. I couldn't see the art, artistic. I'm sorry that value. you don't have an artistic bone in your body. <laughs> sorry you don't appreciate art. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go with that. This though, like obviously, if you're gonna like, you're gonna make me cry with music on your house. It's you know giving me what? the goosebumps, you know. I met the owner. This is probably of this house? two or three years ago. He was outside. We were talking with him. I don't remember the full story, and I apologize if you watch this and I'm messing it up. But something like he lost his daughter, or or maybe didn't lose, but she got sick. It's it's at least that mm -hmm. because did you see the cancer ribbons? Oh, now I see it. Yeah. And this he was like, this is for her. Mm. I know. Yeah. I know. So let's let's shift. <laughs> Full respect it out. Yeah. Let's shift. Let's talk about Ever Beach at large. Yes. So Ever Beach is a couple things. Ever Beach is old plantation Hawaii. Ever Beach is like the newest Arizona Hawaii. <laughs> Leave me a comment, local people. Is there something? I know there's the Hawaii Kai boat parade. There's the one in Waikere, honorable mention. Mm -hmm. Hawaii is having a contest. There's another Ever Beach neighborhood, honorable mention. You know, it makes sense that this kind of neighborhood would do this. Yeah. Because other small Hawaii plantation house, like it's not gonna happen. Yeah. In old Ever. Yeah. It's not gonna happen like this in like Wahiwa. I can maybe <laughs> see it happening in Wahiwa. No? Nah, rain too much. It does rain yeah. too much. Like I feel like here people talk to their neighbors more and would be like, yeah, let's all do that. You know, like there's be more of that. Like uh, Shelly, right? Mm -hmm. She was saying like, oh, we know our neighbors. We talk, like they bought our pool table. We know mm -hmm. them. In Eva Beach, even in this newer, like 90s, 2000s mm -hmm. Eva Beach, there's still a little bit more like drink couple with your neighbors. Yeah, it feels more communal. It feels more like somehow a small town, <laughs> like a small community. and. Yeah. Like people actually know who their neighbors are. It doesn't have the sterility of some <laughs> of the other options I mentioned, right? Yeah. yeah. You're impressed with how many syllables I could No, I just or? was like, to be honest, I wasn't quite sure if that was a word or not, but I didn't want to gong you because I'm not sure it could be. It's all about leveling you guys up. You oh, know what he I mean? Does like this for bringing us, you guys, guys up. Sterility, the quality or condition of being sterile. Let me see. Let me see real quick. Okay, can confirm. Because can I read sometimes? So I gotta check, make sure you know how to read the word. So what you were saying. Yes. But because you're not as like articulate, you have to use a lot of words. No, I'm just not stuck up. <laughs> I don't make any kind. There's a communal vibe, right? You might yeah. drink with your neighbors. Someone might light a firework. Not too much. <laughs> when I was driving here in Waipahu, mm -hmm. I saw like three, four. I was like $80, $120. That's not going down like crazy here. These yeah. neighbors are not going to tolerate it all the time. But if you did one or two, you're having a good time. Everybody's drinking. I like it. I didn't, I've never been down here before. The houses are all really actually look really nice and well kept. There's like a pride to living here. Like the lawns are all done real nice and Maybe it's because they're on display a couple months well, every a, year. Well, there's an HOA here too, right? Mm -hmm. They're a little bit, I don't know if the Prescott side and Sonoma have two different HOAs, but I mentioned in one of our last Ever Beach videos we shot, like I seen a couple things happen over there that could never, like I don't see happen here. Like this one person had their tarp permanently fixed to the concrete or whatever for fixing cars or whatever. And yeah, whatever, I'm not hating, but I don't, I feel <laughs> like that would, HOA, something would happen over here. Yeah. And my client lives a block over and she said, like, people have, like, hey, gotten uh, notices for too many leaves in your yard and stuff. Doesn't seem to happen as much where my dad them used to own over there. How is this neighborhood compared to, like, a Ho'opili? I feel like this is what Ho'opili is going to be like. Right now, Ho'opili is brand new, so we still have, it's a construction site. This is, feels like more of an established neighborhood where people have been living here a long time yeah. and people really, really know each other well. Can't really be compared to me because they are a booming neighborhood that's just starting and I feel like the level of community there will feel the same, especially in like it's each individual communities, like in Ikena or in Kanalani, like you'll have this type of vibe with your neighbors. I hear you, I hear you but you can see how people from the mainland and or local people and or like uncle who moved to Washington and they're watching this, they're like, ah, that's that's not Hawaii. Like anything 
Eva Gentry, Casa and Cook, Ho'opiri, Dear Hearted, yeah. they're newer track home suburbs yeah. with associations. Yeah. Nuanced point, you're like, it's not even comparable. Also, like, Eva Beach was also never really on my radar before I started doing real estate, to be honest. I wasn't really through here all the time, so yeah. I don't have, like, the the bias of what old Eva was like, either. All right, guys, I want to ask for a Christmas present. I know, I know, some of you guys watch this channel consistently and aren't subscribed. Mm -hmm. So please, if ever you're going to do it, leave us a Christmas present, comment, subscribe what am i lacking like 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 subscribe and comment and if you have real estate needs hit us up the info is in our description box below coreteamhawaii.com don't forget to fill out the contact form we're looking forward to talking with you and connecting with you guys and if you love us and want to work with us we love you and want to work with you too merry christmas merry christmas guys